Hi guys! It's me again, Akoy Gringa. Today, I will share in this video on how I revalidated my diploma at Universidade de São Paulo or USP. First of all, it was hard. Yup, because I don't have any idea what public university that I could have a chance to revalidate my diploma. I asked some foreigners or gringos who tried to revalidate their diploma and unfortunately it was unsuccessful for some. Well, there are lots of public university and you must verify if your degree course is also available in their university. Just like me, I'm a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. So, I was thinking at Universidad Estadual de Campinas or UNICAM. Universidad Federal de São Carlos or UFSCar and even Universidad in Amazonas. However, I took a risk to revalidate my diploma at Universidad de São Paulo. So, how do you access the requirements? Just Google it. I prefer to use in Portuguese language. So, this is their site. And for undergraduate degree or graduação, it will be in February or August, while in graduate degree or postgraduação, like doctorate and master degree, it will be in February until October that you have to submit all the documents that are needed. So you have to complete their requirements and you have to read it carefully, it's the step-by-step -step requirements or the step by step that you have to complete do i need to translate to a sworn or certified translator all of my documents in portuguese my answer is it depends upon the university but i suggested to translate the only summarized descriptions of the academic history and your diploma at the unit's discretion, additional doc documents or translation may be requested, and this request will be informed by email. Do I have to take an exam to validate my diploma? Well, some university like USP, in nursing, you need to take a written and practical exam. Other university, you need to take some subjects that are recommended by the university. If you don't reach the required percentage in your academic subjects, it will be automatic denied the process of the revalidation. But don't lose hope. There are another universities to try and take a risk again, right? If I failed for the revalidation of my diploma in the university, what will I do? Well, my answer is try in another university and check their requirements because it is not possible to have more than one application at university for the same degree, nor to appeal again in case the appeal is denied by the council. By the way, I took SELPEMRAS exam or the Certificate of Proficiency in Portuguese for Foreigners. So what is SELPEMRAS? It is the official Brazilian exam to prove proficiency in Portuguese as a foreign language accepted in Brazilian universities and companies as well as in the process of revalidation of diplomas in some universities and also for naturalization. So yay! I did it! I passed the written and practical exam and I revalidated my diploma in bachelor degree and teaching degree in nursing. So I have my Coren or Conselho Regional de Enfermaging. Of course, it is equivalent as a registered nurse here in Brazil. Anyway, according to USP, 
I am the first Filipina nurse to revalidate the diploma in the university. Well, I can say first Filipina nurse here in Brazil. And I even made it to the best university of Latin America. Yes, mabuhay! Ciao!